Hi, in this review we're just going to go over some of the elements of Excel and show you the kind of questions you might expect to find on a test. So our first set is true and false questions and so here we go. It is safe to open Excel spreadsheets from an unknown source that may contain macros. False, totally false. Don't do that. Very dangerous. The container for VBA code can be a workbook. That's true. The container for VBA code can be a user form. That is also true. VBA code can change the, can change the files on your computer. Also true, and that's why you want to be really careful about macros from unknown sources. One of the reasons. Recording a macro in relative mode means it will always operate on the same cells every time. That's false. When you're using relative addressing, um, the cells the macro uses are going to depend on which cell is selected when you run it. Naming a cell can make your formulas and macros easier to understand. True. Macros can be activated with command buttons placed on a spreadsheet. True. Macros cannot be invoked by clicking on a picture. Well, that's false. We showed you an example where we used a piece of clip art instead of a button. Clicking a button on a spreadsheet is the only way to invoke a macro. False, you know we can use that little macro menu, we can invoke from a user form, lots of different ways. Okay, now this next question talks about the way we name cells, and, and you know there's two systems. The ones where we use a, a letter, a column letter, followed by a row number, and this other notation where we give the row number and then the column number. And you need to be able to translate back and forth between those. So what about cell B4? Well, the 4 is the row, so you know it's row 4. It's one of these guys. And then column B is the second one. So the answer here is going to be D. Which tab contains the commands for recording VBA macros and setting macro security levels? Well, that will be the develop, Developer tab, B. Um, what does the cell reference cells 5-3 correspond to? Alright, now remember, this is row 5, so you know it's going to end with a 5 here, and it's column 3, A, B, C, 3. So, um, it's B. Takes a little thought, though. What is a symbol to make a cell row or column reference absolute? Well, that is dollar sign D. Remember in our formulas, if we put dollar A, dollar one, it makes it absolute. Now suppose I put this formula in cell C1 and then copy it down and then over to all the cells between C1 and D5. Here's my formula. What formula will cell D5 contain? All right, this one's getting it relative versus absolute. Notice we have absolute rows and absolute columns in this question. So the formula won't change even if you copy it to another cell. And therefore, the answer is D. Okay, now here's another one. Suppose I put this formula in cell E1 and then copy it down to cell E2. Now this formula uses relative addressing, right? You don't see any dollar signs here. And that's how you distinguish. So, okay, when I move it from E1 to E2, it's going to adjust by moving all the... Well, let's see what we did here. We, we went ro one row down. So the things in the formula should also go one row down. Um, so, the answer should be C. Now, these aren't easy. So what I suggest you do is open a spreadsheet and try some examples. You can actually write a formula, copy it, paste it all over the place, see if you can figure out what it's going to look like, and then look at it and see if it really looks the way you thought it would. That's the best way to learn how to do this. Okay, next. The background color of a button on a user form can be changed by 
changing it in the properties window, having the user form code change it, both A and B, neither A nor B. All right, this would be both, so the answer is C. For the following questions, answer true or false. Changing the name property of a button changes what you see on the screen when you run the program. That's false. The name only pertains to programming. Changing the caption property of a button changes what you see on the screen when you run the program. That one's true. The caption is what the user sees. Okay. Now, in each of the following problems, a text box called text box uh, starts out with a blue background and no text. Use the following choices to answer the question. So here's the first one. Um, what is the color of the text box after the code executes? Well, you can see here that we changed its color to yellow. So the answer is yellow, B. What does a text box say after the code executes? Well, we set the text to be hello, so it's going to be C. All right, next piece of code. And, and these all start over. Okay, so, so we aren't following through this one, then this one. It's starting fresh. So here we have two lines of text that, of code that change the, the text in the text box. So what color is the text box after the code executes? What well, started out blue, it's still blue. We didn't change it. And what does the text box say? Well, notice we made it say hello, and then right away we made it say goodbye. As soon as we put the goodbye in, the hello was erased. So, this is going to be D. Okay, let's look at the next one. Um, here we go. We're changing... Now, this one's tricky. Because we're changing the output button's color, not the text boxes. So, what is the color of the text box after the code executes? It's still blue, right? Because we didn't change it. And what does the text box say? It says hello. Let's see. So watch out. I, you won't get too many tricky ones like that, but you do have to pay attention. All right. What color is a comment in the Visual Basic Editor? Well, it is green. D. What color is a keyword? Blue. D. What color is a code element, such as a plus sign? That's black. And what color is a quoted text string? Well, that's also black. Now, purple doesn't get used, but there is a use for red. It's the color of a line that has a syntax in it, error in it, that the um, Visual Basic Editor has discovered. So, that's also a possible question. What characters does a comment start with? Well, it starts with a single quote, right? So that is B. Okay. And that concludes this review.